Hello and welcome to Wisconsin in Focus, powered by the Center Square. I'm J.D. Davidson, the Center Square Midwest Regional Editor. Joining me today is Ben Yount, Wisconsin contributor to the Center Square. Ben, how are things today? I am cautiously optimistic that I may do well in my NCAA pool this year. Marquette is in the top five. Uh, The Badgers are terrible, and now I've seen it with my own eyes, so I know not to take them. A lot rides on this this weekend game against UConn. Look, if Marquette can beat UConn, I could back them as a number one seed, though I might as well just pick my my bracket based on team colors or mascots because I do terrible almost every year. We are recording this on Thursday, February 15th, 2024. Ben, several states have passed or are working on passing or even some state attorney generals have just implemented what they're calling parental bill of rights. Those things deal with health care, education decision, general parental knowledge about their children. It's something similar just passed the Wisconsin Senate. Uh, tell us about that. Yeah, there are 16 different specific rights that are enumerated through this legislation. And that's the the fancy, you know, grad school way of of trying to explain this. I didn't go to grad school, so that's why I have to stop after using the word enumerated. This is like what you said, JD, exactly. This is a, a move across a number of states, red states particularly because that's where these things can move. But it comes down essentially to two things, gender and what is taught about gender and sex and the like in schools. And this is a piece of legislation that supporters say they didn't think they'd ever have to approve. Van Wangard, senator out of Racine, Republican, said this stuff is common sense. And five, ten years ago, no one would have opposed this kind of an idea But that shows just how different the conversation is here in 2024. And what this does is it spells out that moms and dads are the ones who make these decisions, whether it comes to medical procedures. And that's the sort of blanket term for transitioning young children when it comes to what names children can use at school. And that, again, gets back to this issue of you've had a number of school districts who have secret gender policies that if kids want to come and go by a girl's name at school or a boy's name at school, well, the school's not going to tell mom and dad. In fact, you've had a number of lawsuits alleging that they they intentionally cover this up. It gets to the point of saying that the state government doesn't get to make medical decisions, that, that, that mom and dad are the ones who get to see the medical records, who get to see the transcripts. This goes even to the point of saying that Parents get to see what their kids are learning in school, and if parents don't like what their kids are learning in school, they get to opt out of classes. The opposition to this is is sort of twofold, but again, all pointing at the same thing. Governor Evers and a number of Democrats say that this is going to inject parents into school district policy, uh, that, that some parents may be able to even sue if they don't like what their kids are being taught. The governor, who's the former state superintendent of schools, who's a former teacher himself, has always relied on this idea of you don't need parents meddling in what is taught in the classrooms. You know, mom and dad don't need to come in and say, well, I don't want you to use this word, but can you change this? And and sort of becomes cumbersome. The real opposition, though, is from the LGBTQ left. The ACLU uh, earlier this week said that, that if this becomes law, that it would force schools to out children and it would create unnecessary cruelty for young people in Wisconsin. Governor Evers is is expected to veto this the moment that he gets it. And and in fact, tomorrow being a Friday, he very well may do it then. Uh, But this is this is a, a conversation that you'll find in probably 20 something states across Wisconsin. And because Wisconsin has a Democratic governor, this conversation is going to end on his desk and Republicans will probably try again next year. But uh, but yeah, this is all about who gets to make the decisions when it comes to a child who wants to transition or when it comes to what we're going to tell children from kindergarten through high school about gender, about sex, about sex ed, uh, about all of that. And, uh, you know, this is this is the new culture war and pick your side based on where you sit on this. 
uh, you know, if this was a talk show, it would be one conversation, but this is a podcast. So it's a different conversation. Sure. And it, it's really fascinating because we've talked before on this podcast where all politics is local. Uh, if you want to make a difference, go talk to your school board, run for school board, do things like that where you can have an effect on that. One area where I'm seeing this be an issue is is personal for me. We have a, a youngster who's 14 and had some tests done, found out he has mono. We couldn't get his test results from the hospital because they won't release them to parents of children between 14 and 18 years old. So on one hand, you might argue that, you know, I can understand where these children, by how they want to identify, but the other side of that is legitimate as well. If I'm responsible for my child, if you're going to make me legally responsible for my child, then you better tell me everything I need to know. This this is the uncomfortable question. This is what is at the center of this. And this is the split, right? Who runs children? Who Who is in charge? But there, there really is, particularly among newer progressives, this idea that parents are the problem. And, and, the baked in opposition to these parental bills of rights is this idea of some redneck family who my my daughter ain't going to kiss no girl. And the reality is that most parents know their children. Most parents understand their children. I got four kids. You know, I've had them come to me with all manners of different problems. Most parents aren't going to just say, get out of the house. And so you're right. There is this line between I, I need I need to know this stuff so I can help my kid, but also I, I need to know this stuff because th- this is my kid and I should be having these conversations. I don't want a, a a school district employee or a doctor telling my child something that I don't know about that I may not uh, agree with. You know, I, I don't think that that parents are, are going to go say he got mad. Who you been kissing? And then take the belt off and, and start to to go at it. That, that's, but that's the that's the image that is presented of parents who simply just want to know. Hey, look, okay, you got mono. What comes next? I mean, is it, what's what, what what's the treatment? What 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 are the side effects? How, how does this not become some sort of a mumps infection? You know, that's the stuff that parents want to know and. But when you throw in the the ideas of, of of gender and young people, it's you know it's you know it just these these things these are the realities of being parents, and 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 this is one of the reasons why parent groups say, look, moms and dads need to be the ones to make this decision because moms and dads actually know these kids, and they're the ones who know these kids best. Not not the cool teacher at school, or not the not the guidance counselor, or not some doctor who just has a form, but moms and dads, and and that's. Look, this is the difficult part. You want to talk about education? You got to talk about parents. You want to talk about criminal justice reform? You got to talk about parents. You you you, you want to talk about preparing kids for college and careers? You got to talk about parents. And and it's it. If this was easy, if this was a ban on lion meat or you, you know a resolution recognizing February as National Cheesecake Month, it, it would have been done long ago. Legislative branches are great at the easy stuff. They're it's really tough to legislate this kind of hard stuff. And and this is this is what you get, you know. Okay, hey, if you're going to make us spell this out, we're going to spell it out. And here are the 16 rights that parents have in Wisconsin. Yeah, and moms and dads are still legally responsible for their kids. That's all the time we have. Listeners can keep up with this story and more at thecentersquare.com. For Ben Yell, I'm JD Davidson. Thanks for listening, and please subscribe. Like to stay informed on the go? Audible has an ever-growing selection of audiobooks at your fingertips. Whether it's that classic you've been meaning to get to or the new release you've been waiting for, follow the link in our show description to get 30 days of Audible free.